New Kia Stinger GT Performance 4-Door Grand Tourer Revealed in Detroit Rear-wheel drive Kia Stinger GT makes debut in Detroit, with a 3.3-liter 365bhp V6 engine, and we've been for a drive. Kia's headline act at this week's Detroit Motor Show is the reveal of its fastest and most expensive production model ever. Called the Stinger GT, it's an all-new four-door Grand Tourer, tasked with changing the global perception of Kia as a brand and pushing the mark-up market into far more aspirational territory. The 365bhp Stinger GT saloon takes clear inspiration from the Kia GT concept first seen at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 2011, meaning this production model is a car six years in the making. It's set to go on sale here in the UK this September, and a price tag of around £43,000 is anticipated. After a lengthy teaser campaign, the car made its debut on the stands at Detroit earlier this week. However, ahead of the car's reveal in the United States, Kia invited Auto Express to Research and Development Center in Korea as part of a select press group to discuss the Stinger GT with its designers and engineers as well as to drive a development car. The Stinger GT is a true Gran Turismo, a car for spirited long-distance driving, said Gregory Guillaume, chief designer at Kia Motors Europe. It's not about outright power, hard-edged dynamics, and brutal styling all at the expense of luxury, comfort and grace. This car is all about the journey. Peter Schreier, chief design officer of Kia Motors, added, I'm very pleased with how much of the concept car we've been able to keep in the production car. This car really shows how far Kia can go. As Schreier suggested, the basic shape and athletic proportions of the GT concept have been carried over to the production model, although the show car's more extravagant design touches such as the bullet door mirrors have been dropped. The original Maserati Ghibli is what I had in mind when we started the project to find a modern interpretation, not as a two-door but as a four-door, explained Guillaume. The moment you have a front-engined, rear-wheel drive layout you get completely different proportions. The Stinger uses an adapted version of the Hyundai Genesis platform, with all-new McPherson strut suspension on the front axle and a revised version of the multi-link setup at the rear. The Stinger GT is bigger in all dimensions than either the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe or Audi S5 Sportback its most natural four-door coupe rivals and it weighs more than 1,900 kilograms. The development of the car has been overseen by Kia engineering chief Albert Bierman, former head of BMW's M division. The brief was to make it sporty, he told us, but it still needed good long-distance comfort. It could not be a harsh car. In a first for Kia, the Stinger GT uses adaptive dampers, and owners can choose between a suite of modes using the Drive Mode Select system, adjusting steering, damping and throttle response, gear shift strategy, and ESC intervention to suit the road type and driving style. The engine is a reworked version of Kia's existing 3.3-liter twin-turbo petrol V6. It develops 365 bhp with 510 Nm of torque and drives the rear wheels via an 8-speed automatic gearbox and limited slip diff. This version of the Stinger GT has a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 5.1 seconds, while a cheaper, 4-cylinder Stinger with 252 bhp and less aggressive styling will arrive early in 2018 and we've also learned that an all-electric version of the Stinger is planned. Kia Stinger GT First Drive Kia allowed Auto Express behind the wheel of a Stinger GT development car for a handful of laps of its test track in Korea which was just enough to form an early impression of it. The seating position is good and the cabin spacious, with enough legroom in the rear even for taller adults. Interior quality is a step forward for Kia, although established German competitors still lead the way. The V6 engine feels strong and very responsive, although the soundtrack is a touch soulless and it doesn't care to be revved much beyond 6,000 RPM. The 8-speed auto is smooth, but the ZF unit that's favored by the likes of BMW and Jaguar is more responsive in manual mode. 
In a nod to the car's grand touring remit, there is a fair amount of body roll in corners rather than the flat-bodied stance of a true sports saloon, but this doesn't feel like a chassis that wants for control or precision. The steering is direct, and there's no looseness in the rack, plus what it lacks in feedback it makes up for with a predictable, intuitive rate of response at the front axle. Despite its size and weight, the Stinger GT feels agile and responsive in corners. There are still many questions to be asked of the Stinger GT, but on the strength of this first impression there is good reason to believe that it could be a refined, fast and entertaining Grand Tourer. Kia is hoping to lure buyers of premium German cars into its showrooms, although nobody within the company assumes it'll be easy. The Stinger GT is the first of many cars aimed at achieving that goal. As Gregory Guillaume told us, we believe the Stinger GT is going to fundamentally change the global image of Kia.